motion interacting weeder. I mean, it's kind of hard to, you know, act like you know somebody that doesn't fucking exist. This is why we have no answers. This is why the tag plates don't match up. This is why the car was placed there after. This is why, this is why everything. This is why nothing makes sense. It's a scam to get fucking GoFundMe money or something. And that's about it. So, yeah, I'm going back to my regular life of doing cool shit and fucking, you know, being a... her so much and Kylie we love you and if you see this please just please just come home I want nothing more than to hug you and if, if anybody else out there if you know where she is if you know anything about where she might be if you have any ideas or or thoughts please um please come forward and share them and and we're not looking to like bust anybody else or get anybody in trouble we just want to see our daughter home Howard Prosser Lake on Sunday, putting these two small and narrow boats equipped with sonar in the water. After just about 35 minutes in the water, Nick made that fateful discovery. It's an emotional moment for sure, um, especially, you know, when I first dropped down, the first thing I saw was the vehicle upside down and I was already located towards the rear of the vehicle. And so I looked at the license plate, could tell right away this was the vehicle that we were looking for. So the next step at that point, in my mind is you have to mentally prepare yourself as you're doing the vehicle assessment to um, you know for what you may see and so um, at that point you just have to kind of block that out and just say hey there's a task at hand that I have to do and I need to do it. Nick was able to identify it was her vehicle and that there were human remains within the vehicle. From there they notified the family and law enforcement. We notified family and, and dad and grandpa were there less than two minutes. It was tough. It was a very very tough very tough moment you know I myself have a 16 year old and he is, uh, he, he knows his 16 year old daughter is not coming home.